Do you ever wonder where the biggest rock stars live? It's safe to assume that their homes reflect their success, since they've made a lot of money in their careers. Let's knock on the doors and take a peek inside the mansions of the biggest rock stars. If there's any rock star that knows how to live lavishly, it's Bon Jovi frontman himself, John Bon Jovi. Who knew that when he joined his first band at 13 years old, he would become such the success he is today? The moment he played the piano and picked up a guitar, he was destined for greatness. Bon Jovi started his namesake band when he was just 21 years old, and he has been raking in the cash ever since. From hit albums to sold out concerts, he doesn't have to worry about finances for the rest of his life. The singer has a knack for flair, and his style is definitely reflected in his home. So what kind of house does Bon Jovi live in? Well first, it's houses. Plural. First, Bon Jovi also had a New York City penthouse that he bought in 2007 for about $26 million. These days, he's working on selling his New Jersey estate, which is available for $20 million. The chateau was built in 1999 by architect Robert A. M. Stern. The mansion is European-inspired and named High Point. It has 15 acres of landscape gardens, 18,000 square feet of space with a house made of limestone. The 50-foot living room has 12-foot ceilings, a grand fireplace, woodwork, and bookshelves. Bon Jovi also had a $19.85 million mansion in Palm Beach, but not much is known about that home since it seems like it was more of a renovation project. The true real estate star is Bon Jovi's $43 million mansion, also in Palm Beach. When I'm done talking about this place, you'll agree that he's definitely upgraded. His new mansion has 7 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and 10,232 square feet of opulence. It was built in 2007 and designed by famous architect Thomas Kirchhoff, and the interior was designed by David Kleinberg. There's marble on the inside and hardwood floors with incredible cypress ceilings. There are also 5 powder rooms with a grand dining room with a view of the ocean. There's also a courtyard, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, and an air-conditioned three-car garage. If that's not enough, there's a pool and a cabana. It's safe to say that Bon Jovi is no longer living on a prayer and enjoying the finer things in life. English singer and songwriter Elton John has come a long way. Born as Reginald Kenneth Dwight, Elton was raised by his maternal grandparents. He took a risk and left school at 17 to pursue a career in music, much to the disdain of his father. His parents were quite restrictive, which may be why Elton embraced the glitz and glam of the music industry by wearing flashy costumes. But Elton's career didn't immediately take off. He was playing the piano at a nearby pub before moving up the ranks from songwriter to mega superstar. With all of his success, Elton has garnered five mansions. His main home is a Beverly Hills mansion with over 24,000 square feet of property with three floors, 10 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, all on 20 acres. The home was put on the market for about $63 million, but Elton was able to get a deal and bought it for $32.6 million. The home even has a home gym and a massive garage to house 11 of Elton's luxury cars. His latest home purchase was announced in September 2021 when he paid $8.5 million for a mansion that's right next door to his larger mansion. It's the perfect spot for him and his husband and their two boys. The home is said to have over 5,000 square feet of space with five bedrooms and four bathrooms. He also owns a duplex penthouse in Atlanta, a villa atop Mont Blanc in Nice, a country estate in Old Windsor, London, and finally a townhouse in London's Holland Park. Does anyone need to come up for air? Let's talk about Black Sabbath star Ozzy Osbourne. His career has spanned over four decades and he's showing no sign of slowing down anytime soon. He helped make heavy metal music as popular as it is today and he was never shy to push the envelope when it came to controversial imagery. Between his music and television career, Ozzy can definitely afford a mansion or two. If you watch the reality show The Osbournes, you might recognize his $12 million mansion in Hidden Hills in Los Angeles. In fact, the house made headlines in 2009 after Ozzy and his wife Sharon almost had the home seized by the IRS. They later listed the home for sale for $13 million. The mansion sits on 2.25 acres of land and has 6 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. Ozzy definitely enjoyed both city and mountain views from his home. Ozzy also listed a Malibu beach house for sale for about $9.5 million. For a while, Ozzy was renting a house in Beverly Hills for about $50,000 per month. It's a two-story house that sits on an acre of land and over 5,000 square feet of space. It was definitely more humble arrangements than Ozzy may have been used to. These days, it looks like Ozzy and Sharon are living in a rustic Beverly Hills home, which they bought for about $10 million. It's an English-style estate and has five bedrooms with six bathrooms, plus a master suite and a grand staircase. Plus, there's a fireplace, a two-story guest house with vaulted ceilings, and its own parking garage. 
While he doesn't own it anymore, Phil Collins paid a nice $33 million for his Miami Beach mansion. The drummer and singer of the rock band Genesis has had quite the career in music to help him afford such a vast estate. By the way, did you know that Phil was once a child actor? He eventually realized that music was more his jam, and he joined Genesis in 1970 when he was about 19 years old. Thank goodness. In 2020, he put the Miami Beach mansion on the market for $40 million, and it didn't take long for a buyer to come around. Before Collins owned the mansion, it once belonged to Jennifer Lopez. The house sits on 1.2 acres of land with 184 feet of water frontage. It also came with a private dock as well. I guess if life got too hard, you could head to the dock and float in your boat. The home itself was a Mediterranean-style residence with over 10,000 square feet of space. It had six bedrooms and nine bathrooms. You might have noticed that I'm saying this in past tense. In August 2021, the buyer of the vast estate plans on demolishing this place in order to build a brand new home on the land. Plus, the house has some issues with flooding. Fair enough. You can't talk about rock without bringing up Paul McCartney. He was an integral part of the British invasion and has managed to sustain a successful career for several decades. So where does a member of the Beatles live? It's endearing to know that Paul's London homestead is the same one he's lived in since 1965. He originally bought the property for about $54,000, which was a lot of money back then. Today, that property is worth about $22 million. Talk about inflation and getting a great profit from your investment. But the man is worth nearly $650 million. Surely this isn't his only homestead. It's not. He owns several homes today all over the world, from London to New York to Scotland and even Arizona. His most impressive purchase is a Manhattan triplex for about $15.5 million. The home is located on Fifth Avenue and has three floors, five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a foyer, a 33-foot-long library, and a terrace. Plus, he's got amazing views of Central Park. Finally, if there was ever a king of rock and roll, Mick Jagger definitely wears the crown. He's considered one of the most successful rock stars in history, and he's still rocking it with the Rolling Stones at 78 years old. He has eight children, with his youngest being born when he was 73 years old. With so many kids and grandkids, Mick definitely needs a big house to keep everyone. He has a smaller mansion in Sarasota, Florida that is worth about $2 million. It seems that he uses this home when he's touring in the United States. He bought it for himself and his longtime partner, Melanie Hamrick. It has 5,700 square feet of space with four bedrooms and six bathrooms. The home also has a pool, a waterfront office, and a game room. Since the home is in a gated community, Mick also has access to community amenities like a fitness center and private tennis courts. If you put a rock star in a tiny apartment, how long do you think they would last? Tell me what you think in the comments. That's all everyone. Thanks for watching and keep an eye on the riches for more amazing content.